Hey guys, this is Tim with Tim Stout & Associates, Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners, your trusted real estate expert for Coweta and Fayette Counties. Today I'm going to talk to you about the five biggest mistakes that first time home buyers make on their home search. Number one is overspending. You need to know what you're going to spend, you need to know how much you want your payments, and then you need to search in that range. If you start searching in a higher range and then you have to decrease because you want a lower payment, it's going to make the process a little more difficult because you're not going to find the, uh, the higher end and the nicer features in a, in a higher priced home in the lower priced home. So it's really important to start where you want to buy and not just to be looking around in a higher price range. Number two, counting your chickens before they hatch. I have a lot of clients that were showing houses. They fall in love with a house before they even see it. And then once we get in the house, it's something they don't like or somebody else has another offer in on it. So it can really disrupt the home search process. And another thing is once you find a property that you like and you want to make an offer on, try your best to stay unemotional and don't get attached to that property until you close and it's yours. Because once you start getting that attachment, the sentimental attachment to the property, you're less likely to make, uh, make good business decisions when it comes to purchasing the property and coming to the, the other aspects of purchasing it. Number three, do not forget to account for your closing costs, your taxes, your HOA fees, and your homeowner's insurance when you're compiling all of your list of expenses uh, for the property. If you wanna be at $2,000 for a mortgage payment, don't forget to account for all those things that we just mentioned because it's going to raise the payment, the amount to live in that house. So you have to make sure and account for all of that so you don't become house poor and, uh, and you still get to live a, live a good life and a normal life outside of your home. Number four, another reason you shouldn't fall in love with a house is you fail to protect yourself with contingencies and inspections. If you fall in love with the house completely, you're going to be naive when it comes to the process of the inspections or something's come back. You're going to talk yourself into it being not being as bad as it is, and you're going to talk yourself into fixing it. It's actually it's going to be a lot bigger fix and going to be a headache uh, for quite some time after you purchase the property. And you need your contingencies in place with your financing just in case something falls through. So don't get love blind by a house and, uh, and not do your correct inspections and contingencies. And the fifth one is this, don't be paranoid. There's a thing, always going to be a list of things wrong with a house. You need to trust your inspector when he goes into the house and does an inspection that he's going to lead you in the right direction. He's going to tell you what's serious and what's not serious, what you need to ask for and be fixed, and what you can fix you know, in time. And uh, this is another thing that hiring a professional real estate agent, a full-time real estate agent really comes in handy because they're going to be able to guide you through this process and allow you to make the decision that's best for you and your family and not allow you to get caught up in, in the hoopla and the, the love of the home. Homeownership is awesome, but it also be costly if you, if you make a bad decision. So this will help you, um, help you make the right decisions and less emotional decisions to get you and your family in the right home for the right price. I hope it helped. If you ever need anything, remember who you work with matters and have a great day.